Another useful text analytics technique made easy by Intelligence Suite is topic modeling. I'm going to minimize my configuration window so that I have more blank canvas available. Drag a topic modeling tool onto your canvas. Make a manual connection between the data cleansing tool from step 11 and the topic modeling tool. The text field that we want to analyze is the mDNA field. Your instructor will provide more guidance on the appropriate number of topics. In my video example, I'm going to start with five topics. Unless otherwise directed by your instructor, leave the remaining default configurations. I'm going to scroll down so that you can see my menu a little bit better. Right click on the topic modeling tool and select the option to add all browses. As you can see, this adds a browse tool after each of the output anchors. Annotate the topic modeling tool with step 13, and then annotate each of the browse tools as follows. Step 13 data for the D output anchor. Step 13 report after the R output anchor. And step 13 model after the M output anchor. Save and run your workflow. You can then click on the various anchors to view the results. Great job. You have learned how to create and view the results of topic modeling. Again, Altrix's low-code approach allows you to focus on the discovery and critical thinking aspects that are so important when learning text analytics and investigating topics contained within the mDNA disclosure. In the next video, you will learn how to conduct sentiment analysis, group that analysis by useful categories, and then export the data into an Excel file.